Today I'm taking a look at the Sofan IF30. It's this spotlight and floodlight torch with a rotary dial. It comes in this nice box, got some specifications on the back. It's got floodlight, spotlight, and you can turn both the flood and spotlight on at the same time. So this is what it looks like. We've got the luminous SFD 40 emitter in the middle with a smooth reflector to provide the throw. That's the spotlight, and then around the edges we've got these TN3535 emitters. I'm not really sure what brand makes them, but they are quite floody and they're a cool white emitter. So it's got some anti-reflective coating on the lens, which is nice. And this bezel just unscrews with a bit of force. It's got O-rings for water resistance, which is great. So that's the rotary dial. You can press it and it's locked out. So it has an automatic lockout feature. To unlock it, I need to rotate this um, until it turns green about 60 degrees and then I can just yeah, hold for below and double click for turbo and strobe warning triple click for strobe cool and yeah once it's on let's go back to low <laughs> uh, got flood I can hold to switch to flood spotlight and then turn them both on so just hold to go between each of them Cool. So you've got access to low, access to turbo from off and the strobe, and you can use the rotary dial so you can go to low and then just rotate that until it goes up and it'll flash when it gets to the top and you can go back down again. So I've already noticed that the, the speed going up and down is not always consistent. So yeah, it's, yeah, it, can go a little bit fast towards the top end and a little bit slow when it's at the lower output mode. So this is quite a chunky light, but it is nice to hold. So it's not super chunky like a soda can light. So it's got just the one cell in here. So I've got the 32650. So it's yeah, really chunky. Same length as the 18650 or pretty much of the 650 mil. You've got the 18 millimeter diameter and the 32. Here, so it's yeah, quite much wider. And just for comparison, we got the twenty one seven hundred. So yeah, I've got the sixty five hundred milliamp hour capacity. I think the CDR or continuous discharge rate is about six point five amps for this, and we'll see how that goes with the runtime test because this torch uh, hits about thirty five amps on turbo, which is yeah, quite a lot. You can went to a complete set down here, but you can. Um, it, you can swap the tube around, it's the same on each side, but the little battery indicator or the, the symbol there needs to be lined up at the tail end. So, oh, so it's a nice amount of lubricant and got the O-ring for water resistance. This spring does get quite hot uh, when using turbo, it's so 35 amps running through this. So yeah, if you use turbo, take the cap off and then put your finger there, you're going to get burnt. So <laughs> be careful. It is a powerful torch and yeah, a lot of fun to play with. So I'll take this out for a spin and yeah, do some runtime tests and show you the results.
The floodlight has a color temperature of around 5500 Kelvin, the color rendering index is at around 67. The spotlight has a color temperature of around 6500 Kelvin, which is a bit cooler, and the cry is around 68, and both of them have a color temperature of around 6100 Kelvin, and the cry is around 67. So the DUV is a little bit uh, positive, so it is green. I use my DIY lumen chip to measure the runtime performance of the torch, and when using the floodlight on turbo mode, I found that it decreased in performance each time. So I ran turbo three times using the 32650 cell when it's fully charged at 4.2 volts, and each time I found that the initial output decreased. So I think the battery might be getting damaged as it's hitting 35 amps on turbo, and I think the maximum continuous discharge rate is about 6.5. So probably need a better cell. When I tried to cell like the Molly cell uh, P42A, the 21700 cell with a higher CDR, it was able to achieve a better initial output. So it'd be great if Sofern includes a better cell or better 32650 with a higher CDR. The torch didn't quite reach the 12,000 lumens at turn on or 30 seconds, but it has an impressive 1,000 lumens for almost two hours with the floodlight. Uh, feel free to check out my website in the link below. Uh, you can see the full review with more details about the throw and the, the run times. So the throw was yeah pretty good too, uh, but there were some slight differences there from the claims. Overall, the Sofan IF30 is a nice package. So you got the floodlight, spotlight, and yeah, built-in USB-C charging, and it's also got that uh, power bank feature if you're in a pinch. So yeah, it's not the best um, cover here that might snap off eventually. It's nice how there's a lanyard included, uh, but the cutout could be improved, so you can't really tail stand with the lanyard attached because it'll get in the way and you'll end up having it slightly off to the side. It would be cool if they did a cutout that way instead of that way, so you could put the lanyard in without it getting in the way. Uh, yeah, that's just a little minor thing. There's no real sharp edges, it's, um, but these could be chamfered a little bit so that they're smoother. They're borderline sharp, but I'm not going to cut myself on those. That's, yeah, fine. The battery included could be improved though. It's like a 6.5 amp uh, maximum continuous discharge rate, which is a little bit low for the requirements. So this hits about 35 amps on turbo and it looks like the battery is probably getting damaged over time when I'm using turbo continuously. You can see by the runtime graphs before are getting slightly worse and worse each time with the output, not quite hitting that 12,000 lumens each time. It's just getting lower and lower. But the Molly Cell, yeah, P42A is a bit better, so yeah, you could try some batteries with a um, higher CDR. And it'd be even cooler if you had like a, a spacer, because you can fit the 21700s in here, but they're sort of, yeah, floating around a little bit. Um, you can use a spacer for those, and it'd be great if uh, Sofen had some kind of spacer or just included a slightly better 32650, um, so you could hit those yeah, turbo numbers without damaging the cell can recommend it but probably with a better battery yeah a byo battery if something's not including a high cdr battery cool